So, saline implants or silicone implants? Patients who are interested in breast augmentation will need to decide whether they want saline-filled implants or silicone gel-filled implants. Now, saline is just salt water, and silicone is a type of a mushy gel. Each type of implant has advantages and disadvantages, which should be discussed during your consultation. What I tell my patients is the following. The first issue I discuss is safety. From a safety standpoint, I feel, personally, that they are equally safe. Now, during the 1990s, there was a lot of concern about silicone implants, and many lawsuits were filed. Even breast implant companies went out of business. However, since then, many research studies have found that silicone gel implants do not cause any medical illnesses, as was claimed in the lawsuits. The second thing I talk about is how long will the implants last. There is about a 1% chance per year that an implant will break. Now, the shell of the implant, whether it's saline or silicone, is the same. So how long they will last really doesn't change whether it's saline or silicone. Now how about how they feel? There is a difference in how they feel. This is something you will have to test when you are in the doctor's office having your consultation. In my opinion, the silicone gel implants feel a little bit more natural, and the saline can sometimes feel a little harder when they're inside. Now what about cost? There is a difference in cost. The the silicone gel implants are more expensive, averaging about $1,000 more per pair. Now what about when they deflate or break? There is a difference there as well. With saline implants, usually what happens is there's a little tear and the saline, which again is just salt water, will start to leak out. And in a matter of days or a week or two weeks, the saline is gone, your body will reabsorb it, and the breast will deflate, and you will know that the implant broke. Now with silicone implants, a little tear happens. The silicone basically just stays inside the shell, inside the pocket, and you may not notice any difference. The only way to really know if an implant broke is to get an MRI. Generally speaking, we recommend MRIs approximately every three years just to check on the implant. Now if it does break, it's not necessarily dangerous, you're not gonna get sick from it, but it's something you'll wanna know and probably will wanna have changed. Now what about the warranty for the implants? The warranty is basically the same. It's 10 years. It doesn't matter which company uh, you buy them from. If the implants break within 10 years, the, the breast implant company will give you a free pair of implants and some money towards your surgery. One other thing to be aware of is rippling. Rippling is sort of a wrinkling that happens on the breast. This can be more common with saline implants. If you look at this implant, you may see some ridges here. Sometimes that's seen on the outside of the breast if there's not a lot of fat and skin covering the implant. So rippling is a little more common with saline implants than with silicone implants. Now what about the effects on mammograms uh, or breastfeeding? There's really no difference between saline and silicone. Now one other difference with these implants is that with saline implants, they come empty and you can make adjustments during the surgery. You can fill them a little bit more or a little bit less. So if you're a little asymmetric, if one breast is a little larger than the other, you can try to make adjustments during surgery. The silicone implants come like this. They come filled. You don't make any adjustments. So that's one small advantage of the saline implants. The other thing is because the saline implants are empty, you can make a slightly smaller incision, which leaves a smaller scar. With the silicone implants, this is how they come. So in order to put this inside the breast pocket, you need a little bit of a larger incision. Whether you choose saline or silicone, it's a personal choice. But all of these things should be discussed with your surgeon. Best of luck to you.